Hey, I'm John, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a typical RTS-style camera that scrolls the viewport when you touch the mouse to the edge of the screen. Okay, so I'm going to get started here with a new top-down template project. And the first thing I'm going to do is make a new blueprint uh, pawn, and I'm going to call it camera pawn. And I'll open that up. I'm going to add a spring arm. And I'm going to set the target arm length to zero. I don't really want any arm length. I want to use the lag functionality here. So enable camera lag. That's going to smooth out some of my camera motion here. Uh, so we're going to add a camera. And I'll just uh, select the camera here, press E to rotate. I'm going to turn this to about maybe 70 minus 70 here. Uh, so it's pointing mostly downwards. And I'll drag one of these into the scene. Uh, just raise it up a little bit here. And I'm going to find under uh, the details menu, I'm going to find auto possess player and possess player zero. All right. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and open the event graph for the camera pawn here. And I'll delete these nodes. I don't need any of that. I'm going to right click and type mouse X. And I'll get the mouse event here, mouse X. And uh, I'll also right click and get the mouse Y event. All right, and what I want to do is uh, I'm going to get the player controller. And from that, I can get the mouse position. Um, OK, so this event's going to happen every time, uh, basically every tick. It's polling the mouse X uh, event. If the mouse has moved, uh, it's going to get the mouse position here, and I want to uh, divide that by the uh, viewport size. Uh, let's see here, viewport size. And I need to split this vector 2 pin here. We'll get the x and the y. And I want to just work with the x for now. We're going to say uh, divide the position of the mouse on the x-axis by the size of the viewport on the x-axis. So side to side, left to right, that is. All right, and we'll check, uh, first we'll check if this is greater than uh, 0.98. So this is going to be a value between 0 and 1 once we divide these two, by the way. And so 0.98 is going to mean we're pretty well within the final 2% of the right side of the viewport. Uh, and let's see here, I'm also going to want to check if we're at less than uh, 0.02, which is basically going to be the within the first 2% of the viewport or the far left side. All right, and so I need a couple branches here. And uh, we'll check the right side first. And then uh, if that's false, we'll check the other side. All right, and uh, if it's true, what we'll do here is um, Let's see, I want to add uh, actor world offset. And so we'll uh, move the camera. And I'm going to split this pin here. So I need to move the camera if we're uh, talking about left to right with the mouse. Uh, we want to move the camera side to side. And that's going to be the camera's y-axis. So I'm going to have to feed a value to the y-axis here. So I'll make, uh, first of all, the new variable here called scroll speed. Uh, we'll set that to a float. I'll compile, and I'm going to make this uh, 600. And this is going to be units per second, or centimeters per second uh, for move speed. And the way we'll do that is go uh, right click here and say world delta seconds. And I'll also drag in the scroll speed variable here. And then uh, I'm going to multiply scroll speed by world delta seconds. And that'll give us uh, frame rate independent uh, movement here. Uh, so it won't matter how many frames you're getting, you're going to scroll by the same amount. And we need to plug this into our delta location y. Uh, OK, and so then for the left side of the screen, we're going to do uh, basically the same thing here. I'm going to take this node and duplicate it and plug this in here. 
And, uh, but what we need to do is move in the opposite direction. So I'm going to take this value here and multiply it by minus 1. And we'll plug that into delta location y. All right, so that's pretty much the setup. And that's uh, covering the mouse x event. Now we need to basically do the same thing for mouse y for, uh, for our up and down position of the mouse. I'm going to grab all of these nodes here. And I'm just going to control D to duplicate everything. And I'll plug in the mouse y event here. And uh, I'll just move these pins here from uh, mouse location y, uh, x to y and viewport size x to y. Uh, and then we will change also the, uh, we're going to affect the camera now on the x axis. So when we touch the top of the screen, we want to move the, in the x axis positively. And when we touch the bottom of the screen or viewport, we want to move on the x axis uh, negatively. Uh, okay, and so I'm going to plug these into x instead of y. And uh, let's see here. So uh, greater than 9, 8, which is the bottom of the screen, uh, we're plugging a positive value to x. Uh, OK, so that's backwards. Uh, we need to, let's see, for the uh, bottom of the screen, we want this negative value. I'm just going to move these around here. Uh, All right, uh, and then for the top of the screen, we're going to uh, plug in the, uh, the positive value for the bottom of the screen. We're plugging in the negative value. All right, so that's pretty much the setup here. I'm just going to grab all these, hit C, and say uh, edge scrolling. And uh, there's just one more thing I need to set up. For edge scrolling to work, uh, you need the mouse to stay locked into the viewport. You don't want to exit the viewport when you move over the edge with the mouse. Um, so in order to do that, I actually just have to go here to the top down folder, blueprints. Uh, I'm going to open the player controller here, the top down controller. Uh, and on the event graph here, I'll make uh, a new node here, event begin play. And I'll drag from that and say set input mode game and UI. Um, and this needs a reference to the player controller, so I need to say self, plug that in here. And I can say mouse lock mode, lock always. Uh, and just for good measure here, we'll also say set show mouse cursor and set that to true. OK, uh, so let's give it a whirl here. All right, so I'm going to uh, touch the edge of the screen here, and it looks like everything's working perfectly. We're able to edge scroll with the mouse. And you can, uh, of course, change the uh, speed of the scrolling by adjusting that uh, scroll speed variable in the camera pawn here. All right, so that basically covers this uh, tutorial, and I uh, hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll see you in the next video.